Looking like a place man. <laughs> Might as well, it's not all. I'm Chase. I buy storage units at auctions with my two companions. And I show you what reality TV doesn't. Welcome to Chase Thrifts. What's going on everyone? It's Friday and we're emptying out unit number two which has the antiques in it. So emptying that out today and then we're going to get as many units as we can before 7 o'clock when U-Haul closes it down. So um, we got a uh, new rig set up here and um, I'm excited to use it. Actually it's a rental. I was talking to my neighbors over by my warehouse and um, I was telling them I'm going to rent a, a couple trucks. They said, wait, we have a truck over here for a rent. If you want to rent it, I said, with a trailer? I said, yeah. And I asked them how much. It's 100 bucks a day, unlimited miles for an F-350 with a little box trailer in the back. I was like, yeah, I don't have to even travel anywhere to go get that. I, I just walk across the warehouse lot to go get it. So um, it's one of those deals you got to know your neighbors. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a nice little rig. It's almost not big enough, but um, with the limited miles on it, it's a brand new truck. Can't beat it. Cast iron. A little wobbly though. Yeah. You tighten it up. She's a heavy little sucker. Here's that little stand right here. Man. Open this up. Not sure what that is. And the top piece is in the trailer already. That's pretty cool. Is there any like markings on it? You just walk around the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. Rolling around looking like a pimp. Feel like Dude. you might get stepped on later. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I think it fits you perfectly. I bet you just wear it the rest of the day. <laughs> looking like a place man. <laughs> might as well. It's not all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's all kinds of clothes up in this this thing. And I wonder like how much like fell over that little hole right there in the back. And they were just like throwing shit away, probably. I mean, there's like stuff. I mean, not really, but clothes. But we got lost that. I'm about done. I'm about done. There's one singular box to go through in this whole unit. Singular box. I'm quite sure it's full of clothes. Sure about that? Oh no! Absolutely not. It's very, very, very. Heavy. There you go. <laughs> I'm not even helping. I'm just just watching you struggle. There you go. Laying something on the ground. Right. Whatever it is, it's glass or something. Oh, look at that hawk. Repair key, where the hell this is. That's a fifty dollar bill right there. Some nice little pieces of glass and. Ooh, what's that? Empty. Of course. And empty. This is one of my mantelpiece right here. This little parakeet. There you go. Another little parakeet. Look at this big old fucking whistle. The honeydew whistle. This shirt is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> still, I didn't realize you're still wearing it. Ain't like, much else out in there, is there? Yeah, it looks like mostly just like breakable stuff. A little nicely padded up. Or mm -hmm. shoes. Or shoes. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. I'll get yeah. up here. I got a recording. Oh, you got a recording? Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You gonna jump up and. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, half a unit. All kinds of stuff up there, isn't there? All good stuff. Like right underneath the vent right here. It's hot. Yeah, it's very hot. Clothing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Is that like is that a mask? 
Is that a, is that a mask? Dude, that's not a mask. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this does not look like a mask to me. I thought it was a mask. It looks like a little course. tiny, yeah. Mm, like a little stripper thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a stripper thing, because here's the top. Yeah. Dude, is this like... A little stripper unit right here. Yeah. There's another one right there. Oh, oh yeah. Some Uggs. I think I paid $25 for this unit. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. God, that old stripper uni. Why is there a stripper unit but they have a military bag in the back? See, I was kind of wondering that. That's why I was kind of saving that one for last. Holy crap, there's some stripper shoes in that thing. Hey, actually, there's actually a uh, military clothing yeah. in there. That's weird. From Afghanistan to stripper poles, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's normal. It's, it's um, uh, not normal. That's what I meant to say. Uh, there's yeah, all the army stuff, and then there's just random stripper shoes stripper in there. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Oh, this is uh, his uniforms. I wouldn't just dig. I wouldn't dig them all out. Yeah, we don't got a lot of time. It's, uh, it smells really mildewy. Yummy. All right, this is uh, either a twenty-five dollar unit or three hundred dollar unit. I can't remember what I paid for this one. I know I paid a three hundred dollar unit right here somewhere. Hell, it might have been this one. Um, because I think I think this was out of the way. Cause I saw this. And I saw all these boxes. Man, I'm guessing so. These boxes right here. This thing's all taped up. Dude, this is a TV. The TV? Yeah, that's a big ass TV, dude. Look. Hell yeah, dude. Let's take that down there. And, uh, we only have like an hour, so not even that. I'm gonna try to get as much shit we can. Dude, this thing is like brand new. Like, it's pretty. Look, the tape is still on the sides. That's pretty dope. Oh yeah. So, we got a TV. We got some boxes right here. I got some, I got a big old Sony stereo up there. We got a air compressor down there. We got some cool looking antique furniture right there. Yeah, let's dig it all out. Let's open that real quick. Let's see what this is. This is the, there's something in there too, isn't there? Yes, and it's glass. Oh, look at that vase. Oh, wow. Wowza. It's broke, isn't it? Yeah. Gay. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I like that. I, I can barely even see the silhouette of it. I already like it. It's going to go in the warehouse. It's a new warehouse decorations. <laughs> Is that... Oh, is that a huge nutcracker? Yeah, bro. You couldn't see that. I mean, I didn't know if it was actually a usable one. Yeah, yeah. his arm moves, isn't it? Yep. My grandma used to have a bunch of these. Well, there was like three right there. I'm cracking nuts tonight. That's cool as hell, dude. <laughs> it looks like a work park wad. It does. We get, so we get the timeout chair too. Oh. All right, sit in your timeout chair. In your timeout. I don't even know why I'm hitting this. <laughs> <laughs> timeout chair. Oh, yeah. Dang. <laughs> and then it breaks and I just fall on my ass. <laughs> All right, let's get this loaded up. Get your own. Uh, yeah, check. What the hell's this? This out of the way. I see something down here I need to get. Get this little thing out of the way. Look at this motherfucking god! A double barrel shotgun. This is why I paid 300. I didn't see this when I bought it, but 
This is a freaking banger unit so far. What's it? Uh, this J. Stevenson Arms Company, Massachusetts. I think it's an actual real shotgun. I mean, the last one I found was a, was a wall hanger piece, but the Stevenson Shotgun Company. That's a real one. That's in the first like a foot of this unit. Wow. Super excited about that. I'm super, super stoked about this, man. I wonder if there's any more. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Look at this chest. It's a big, bad chest. It's not leather, though. It's... Is it open from that side or this side? This side is the Oh, look, it opens. Oh, it opens like this. Holy crap. <laughs> it like slides open. There's something stuck in there. That's, well, that's stuck in there too. Are there two lamps in there? That's really cool. Yeah, it is. That is really neat. Good Saturday morning. It's a wonderful day out here in the warehouse. It's it's lightly snowing. Yeah, lightly snowing. Um, and yesterday we were on a time budget, so I didn't have a lot of time to film. But you did see that unit we got yesterday, which we did not get all of. Uh, we only get half of it, so. Um, that unit was super awesome. But today we're going to Lafayette to get two units up there and then come back here and unload it. Hopefully get it all one trip. A little bit doubtful on that. But, um, and then go back to Indianapolis and get the rest of that locker. So what we're gonna do here is we are on time budget again, you know, uh, I need to meet my, my buddy there at nine o'clock. It is 7.30 right now. Um, I didn't get home till about 10.30 last night. So just constantly moving stuff, you know. So we're gonna unload this trailer. With all the goody, good, 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 goods. And I really wanna put it over here with all the other goody, good, 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 goods. And just like that, it's all done. We stacked a huge old pile over here. And over here, the nutcrackers, rugs. So let's go to Lafayette, running late. And like I said, we started to get a light dusting of snow. Starting to accumulate a little bit, huh? There's old blue, she's getting a little bit of snow on her. A little bit of snow on the ground. But that's why we have the rental vehicle with four wheel drive, even though it has absolute terrible gas mileage, it has like eight miles a gallon, but that's not what matters. It matters that I have four wheel drive, I can get through it all. The uh, first ten dollar walk here in Lafayette, it's looking pretty dirty and nasty. All right, here's the next one, ten thirty eight. Get out of tree. Yeah, a bunch of fake plants. That's why I remember is in here. Oh, there's a TV in here too. I got one of those yesterday. There's not a lot in here, honestly. Here we are, halfway through the unit. 
And it's not all gonna fit the trailer. This is like the second trip with this stuff too, so a big old freaking unit. <sighs> Eat a lot of ice cream myself. So I've seen a lot of that in ice cream bowls. That's cookies and cream right there. That's definitely cookies and cream. That's a nice little unicorn setup you got going on. Thanks. I'm gonna do my makeup tutorials on this. Start a new YouTube channel. Yep. All right, mattress sliding down the stairs. Take one with the dresser. <laughs> What's got in your hand right there? Whole hey. box of lightsabers. Yes. Gum, mints, and roll candy provide 25 calories or less per serving. Dude, I can smell them already. They smell mint. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Careful now. Eat responsibly. Mmm. Real? It's actually integrated in with the uh, stool. Should I sit on it? I wouldn't sit on it. That's glass, dude. Dude, sit on it. I must sit on that. I need to go glass. I can sell that for like 40 bucks. You, you can boost some glass, bro. <laughs> that's oh, no. That's a, dark, I, that's I, a I, decoration no. piece. No, I get it now. I get it. Look. It's like a 3D comic. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. That seems very un <laughs> unwieldy to put up on the wall. <laughs> Well, hello, it is Sunday, and uh, we still have two units and a little bit of that unit we were carrying uh, all the furniture out of. Still to get, um, it's snowing outside, it's super cold. You see my breath almost. Um, I'm just taking a day off. I'm so worn out. Uh, I've been going hard since Wednesday. So, I just wanna show you a little bit of the warehouse real quick. Um, and here is some of the dressers we got this is uh part of the whole set of dressers it's like a captain's bed so this goes on like the one side of the bed that goes on the other side there's pull out drawers on each side there's a nightstand for one side right there there's the headboards to match there's another dresser that matches that and then there is the uh like the dry sink they We've been calling it the dry sink right there. Um, some more kitschy little um, stuff right there. Uh, yeah, all this little decoration stuff throughout here. We have like four or five flat screen TVs right there. These little nice little lampy things. Here's the other dresser. This is uh, Closed Mountain, so all the clothes we find in all the units go on Closed Mountain and then we'll eventually sort out the clothes later. So there's actually some really nice clothes in here that are just kind of thrown in here. I have not been gone through at all. Um, uh, my wife and my um, sister-in-law just came through here and kind of went through everything, so everything's open. <laughs> uh, there is some shoes, kids toys. More shoes. This is all from the really good unit. And we have this really nice little like a uh, Sony speaker system right there. Some baskets, clothes. Uh, we have a little box full right here of just scarves. I think it's kind of neat. Little scarves, little frilly scarves. Okay, I had to put a new battery in. So we're in the back room. Uh, we have our jewelry thing. This is gonna be like three times as big 
I figured that all these units. There's so much loose jewelry sitting in the in the units. Um, we have the double barrel shotgun we found the other day. Maybe we can get some better light on here. It is a J. Stevens Arms Company, Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts. It is a hammerless. Um, yeah, yeah. There we go. 12 gauge. I didn't measure the uh, barrels yet, but. Um, I sent this to one of my good friends that does ar uh, like buying and selling of uh, arms and stuff, guns. Uh, there's a little bit of, you know, some stuff right there. It's not good. So it's cleaned up. If it's cleaned up in condition and it fires, it's the $1,000 to $1,300 range. And I found a couple of shells in a little box in there that actually go with it. Little 12 gauge shells. So this was... A really good find so it actually might be one of the things i'm end up keeping and putting on my fireplace mantle in my house because i just like it so much this is the second or third double barrel shock i've ever found and i might just end up keeping it so all the tree trimming stuff chainsaws are gone that's because i just sold that to somebody sold the whole unit except a few few things i wanted to keep um sold all of that for one thousand dollars so I got the unit for 300. I brought it home the same day and sold that for $1,000 cash. So that was a pretty good unit right there for 300 bucks. Uh, this table is really freaking cool. It's stuffed in a way right now. This table actually matches the uh, um, dressers in the, uh, what am I trying to say? The bed frames and everything. So that's pretty neat. So the, uh, it goes like that scooches in and it's like a little island down here with a thing um there's four or five chairs back of the unit that are actually really nice chairs that go with this we just ran out of room in the trailer of the truck getting it a nice little chest right there that actually folds out like this all right uh, we got the toolbox open a lot of different tools in there the ones i actually really liked was there's a fluke uh, amp meter in here a clamp meter and then i mean that's that's some big money but also i got the fluke multimeter and i am an electronics guy slash half-ass electrician and that the set right here if you want to go buy it new is uh i want to say 800 to a thousand dollars just for right there, those two tools if they're brand new so that is actually really neat to see we have some more tools through here and then down here is a bunch of rigid pipe um yeah pipe wrenches and some other stuff i think these rigid ones are probably 100 to some dollars a piece brand new this is all uh, that 300 dollars unit um it's really good units these last couple uh, units I got. So there's another dresser right there. And yeah, I mean, like that's the majority of stuff we've gotten so far. And we have um, two units left to get, but uh, they're doozies. They're doozies. Uh, they're a dollar a piece, I think. I spent on them, or maybe one was 25, one was a dollar. Um, yeah, once you see those things, you'd be like, why the heck did you buy those? <laughs> I'm gonna drive home. I'll show you Wanda. I promised her if she was good, I was gonna bring her home a giant stuffed pony I found in the storage unit. And I brought her home last night and she was the happiest little puppy ever. Um...